Hello and welcome back to another episode of Multi-Block Madness, um, where today I'd like to start off with the Alugentum um, automation. Uh, I've crafted up a bunch of machines. Um, I might be... Uh, this might be the last one that I need for now. I'm just going to do a bit of tough alloy. Um, I think I'm going to need, let's see, oh, this is going to be power for one thing. So this is what I'm planning on doing is just kind of making it all work here. This is, I'm using this for oxygen primarily. Um, but let's see, the first thing I need is the rock crusher, which is going to go, say, here. Melter is going to go there. Still, right, well, probably should be canceled. Don't do that. There we go. Okay, so rock crusher, melter, chemical reactor, electrolyzer. Okay, and this actually, oh, I also need the igneous extruder. Do I have that in my backpack or something? I do. I should keep that time in the bottle on me too. I still don't have anything in my dank and all yet, but we'll get there. Okay, so there's, maybe I should move this because I don't need oxygen until, oh, I'm also going to need um, an ingot former. Of course, I could just use a casting table, etc. But since we're on the topic of nuclear craft, let's just do it all nuclear craft. And in theory, I'll only need one for both um, processes, in theory, because I don't think I'm going to have have it that fast. So let's see. Um, this will not need lava, but it will need water, which is fine. In theory, I'm going to want to store the other um, the other stuff. So let's see. Frame drawers. So let me think here. The rock crusher is going to have several outputs. So let's just say um, we're going to have the, an, actually, well, whatever. That's fine. We're going to do redstone Nord. I have the sink somewhere. There it is. All right, so in theory, I can just do... Does this have water in it still? No. I think I only need a little bit of lava. Probably should have taken that out uh, beforehand, but... There we go. So a bucket of lava. I might be able to do auto input. Okay, no. So we'll just pipe the, the um, water in. We'll say extract on blue for the water. Because the odds of it crossing channels with something else are pretty high. So there's water. Uh, so we just want blue <coughs> input there. Also, I'm going to make obsidian with this. Most likely one of these. Um, was it andesite? Yeah. Most likely it's not enough lava anymore. Terrific. Because we have infinite lava um, in our astral sorcery area, actually. So there's andesite. Uh, we're going to say output enabled. Rock crusher is going to need power. We're going to just do a power cell. Um, probably don't have any of this stuff. No. 
Okay, we got some here. I think I got some ones. Um, I think I'll do... I think I'll just do it in the floor. Okay, so... Wait, how is this getting power? It's not, that's how. Okay. Um, is this? No. Out. Okie doke. So we don't need those. We're gonna need a... Right, I have that. I did. Not. Okay. So basically the plan is to have all of these items going into um, two drawers, uh, one for silver, one for aluminum, and then this will have the extra outputs, beryllium and um, oh, what's the word, beryllium and arsenic. So I'm going to do one by two framed. And I'll do some more crafting, get this chain uh, started, and I'll be back. All right, I think I got it. Just uh, melt, uh, forming our aluminum. Um, so I'm just voiding all of this stuff except oxygen. It looks like we might actually have to reuse some more oxygen. I think we get oxygen from this process. Yeah, so extracting on cyan. Mm, yeah, we might actually have to. Hold on. Oh, right. Forgot to extract on brown. So in theory, I should just be able to insert the brown. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we are not making oxygen fast enough, um, but we should clear up this it's eventually um although we are we are making it pretty fast so what i want to do is put the oxygen back into this chemical reactor the only way i can do that is if i change filters or if i just kind of cheat and take these ones out and do a whole separate thing so i want to put the oxygen from this back into here and this should just straight up work. Yeah, cool. Right now it's just voiding excess. Um, but this way, we'll be able to keep up. This guy will be able to keep up. <clears throat> I'd like to save this argon as well. Because we're definitely going to be using this argon at least. Let's see. Do I have a tank drawer? Well, I know we don't, so I'm not even going to bother looking. Anyway, I'll eventually I'll keep that. For now, though, this is actually pretty cool, i got to say. It doesn't look like we're actually going down, at least with the current speed um, of machines here. Yeah, it looks like we're literally just going up. And the ingot former should switch out between, because it'll do two silver, or one silver, and then one aluminum. Two aluminum. So one silver. And then two aluminum. Yeah. Perfect. And these guys. Okay, so there's project one out of the way, which is automate aluminum. And check that out. We have got passive aluminum and silver out of basically just water and a little bit of air, which I have to ender tank over from the overworld because the air collectors can only get, or it only works in one of the vanilla dimensions. Um, and I've got it. Hook it up right here. 
I'm not sure why it's not rendering, but whatever. Anyway, I'm also going to have to look into a better fuel solution. Um, because this empties out. Which is not really very cool. I'm also going to have to look at better... Well, I have an ender tank of uh, refined fuel at the base. Um, but yeah, it's not quite fast enough as is. We're going to have to figure something out. So I'd like to make power on site. Um, that would be ideal. Anyway, the next project is going to be getting advanced assembling machine which is going to require a bunch of stainless steel, basically a bunch of mechanism um, to unlock, properly unlock, that is. Quick update. Decided that um, I needed to get some more uh, rutile. In order to do that, I need a level 5 pickaxe head. In order to mine it, so that's what I'm working on right now, just getting a quick pickaxe upgrade. Then I'll be heading to the beneath, mine up some uh, rutile, pretty much as much as I can. I don't have a great way to process it just yet, but um, the plan is... Oops. To eventually or I suppose after I get the uh, advanced assembling machine, the plan is to um, set up rock hounding, most likely. Um, but I'll be working on the next update before that, so it might be uh, a few days or so, but that's my next in-game goal is to probably get started on some rock hounding, possibly um, nuclear craft as well. I kind of want to do some more techie stuff, but odds are that will be on the server. Um, because after this week, I'd like to put it back on the server just so that uh, Hua can be back on. Um, um, a lot more aluminum here. Not that I actually need aluminum anymore. Let's see. Do a bit more scanning. I wonder if there's a rutile vein that would be convenient. Oh, starving. Eighth. Man, these monsters don't mess around. Wow, that is not very filling. Anyway, I will smelt some of this up and I'll be back. Right now, with my current infrastructure, the highest I can go is three times if I process it in the mineral sizer and then pulverize it. Um, I would like to get four and then six X soon. And by soon, I mean sometime. I don't really have plans um, to get that just yet because there's other stuff to do. Um, yeah. There's a lot of stuff to do, um, not the least of which is actually build a base. Right now, it's kind of platform life. But, um, yeah, so I got my structure frame. Obviously, I'll need more. But, oh, gotcha. So I, that's right, it needs plastic. Um to do this. Oh well. Um, yeah, these machines are definitely helpful. I should also get this. But anyway, um, I'll figure out what I'm going to do and I'll be back.
All right, so I decided a couple things. First off, I'm going to work on getting plastic next. Um, so I can get this um, with the... Swing that bug again. Where it's doing the plastic. And uh, yeah, so I can get the advanced assembling machine. So I've got the stuff required here. I'm just going to need a um, engineer's workbench. Um, I suppose I should probably just go pick it up. But at this point, it just seems almost easier to do everything new. Anyway, um, I gotta grab that crafting table. It's kind of weird having two networks kind of simultaneously. Um, but, well, you gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this is so I can get a garden cloche. Debatable whether this is the best way to do this. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not the best way to do it, but, I mean, that's never stopped me before. And then, copper uh, ingot, I think it was. I mean... Cool. Let's take that out. All right, so I think that's the last thing I needed for the garden cloche. Now, there's definitely different ways to do this, um, for sure. But my theory is I can grow pumpkins or whatever. Um, I can crush them down into biofuel and then make ethylene with... Uh, what's the thing? With hydrogen. And then run the ethylene through again. Interesting. So you can duplicate. Huh. Okay. So I need uh, oxygen and also hydrogen. Do I have a separator ready? Uh, I do. Okay. So I'm going to need some stuff here. Pressurized reaction chamber with oxygen. Okay, so we will need this electrolytic separator. We'll say here. Reaction chamber with oxygen, unless we need it too. I think we might need it too. Finished with automating of HDPE. So now this setup d does um, aluminum and plastic. So how this works is I've got um, mel uh, melons being grown here. It goes into this compacting drawer, which then splits it into the melon slices. And then this crusher crushes the slices and turns into biofuel. The biofuel goes into this PRC along with some hydrogen and water. The hydrogen comes from water. Um, I have two separators. One of them is producing hydrogen and the other one is producing oxygen. Um, the reason for this is so that they're both not running constantly. Um, they're just running when they need to. The second one producing oxygen is turning the ethylene um, or the, uh, yeah. So this one over here produces substrate and ethylene the ethylene gets turned into liquid which comes over here along with the substrate and oxygen to make hdpe the only thing left to do is deal with this excess oxygen uh the plan right now is um first off let's see if we need this for anything 
uh, I guess it couldn't hurt. Well, it's not really enough to actually worry about, because I was thinking I could condensate it and store it, but I think I'd rather just trash it. So, I'm also curious if I can um, trash a, a gas. It's interesting. Um, let's see. I've got to make sure that nothing else touches it. I guess I could put it... I don't really want to make it visible, but... Oh, snap. Um... All right, I don't think I have anything just sitting around. Let's say I just put it right um, Does this void trash? No, I mean uh, RF. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try. Hopefully there's nothing going into here. Um, so this PRC needs to Extract on purple, cyan, light gray. And this will just insert on light gray. Uh, this probably won't work. Yeah, no. So in order to trash it, I'm probably going to need another rotary condensator. Um, in that case, I may as well just... See, I think it goes this. So we'll do well, no item, insert on light gray, and this should be getting, oh, I probably have to set, ah, that's right. Because these mechanism machines can only do one thing per side, so I'm going to have to set gases to eject out the bottom. So that the fluid trash can might st or the trash can might still work. I'm not sure yet. It's also a gas, so I'll probably have to use the gas pipes. But either way, let's find out if it works. So it's right here. There's that. I'm gonna set this to auto eject the gases. And let's see what happens. Nope. Alright. So I'm going to have to turn it into a um, fluid. Okay, we're going to take a... Oh. All right, so let's do that. Then. I'll also just have a buffer of a tank. All right, so there we go. It just uh, extracts the gas at the bottom, turns it into a fluid, puts it into this fluid tank with a storage bus on it for no real reason other than uh, maybe the future. It also has a low priority input on this trash can, which means that once this is filled up, it'll start to void it. Uh, therefore, for therefore ensuring we never back stuff on it. It will need a little bit of power though. Uh, let's see. I guess I can just. Uh, yeah, I'll just replace these with. Let me condense. Um, let's do like that. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, there we go. We have power. So yeah, this should get everything, I think. But it's also possible, the, the fluid with priorities was kind of sketchy, but either way, this will eventually fill up. Um, well, it's it's probable that this will fill up first. Yeah, maybe not. It's got the storage upgrade on it. So this will definitely buffer, uh, which means that eventually all this stuff will backlog and back stuff, which is cool. Oh, that's, looks like we're out of water. Fluid, insert on blue. Yeah, we're good. All right. There we go. Aluminum, arsenic, beryllium, silver, HDPE, melons, and oxygen. And technically speaking, uh, we should be buffering this argon. 
Um, let me do that really quick here. I don't, um, let's see. I, I don't know. I think it's actually, I think it's actually a fluid. So let's do, let's just put it right here. That one will do interfluid conduit. And the nice thing about this, wait, why is that getting compressed air? Is that pushing to that? That's new. I mean, I knew it pushed, but I thought it only pushed down. Mm. Well, I guess I've got a thing of compressed air now. I mean, these ch tanks are cheap if you have auto crafting, so not really a big deal. Um, uh, are we still good? Yeah. I'm going to disconnect this. All right, so I'm fluid filter. Is the fluid filter in this still? I think it is. Yeah. Oops. Fluid filter. Insert. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put this on the insert. Um, that way. Yep, it is a fluid. Cool. And yeah, so it's technically gaseous argon because this is liquid argon, which is, can only come from supercooler. Liquid argon is only used for uh, cooling the particle accelerator, so. We don't have to worry about that. Liquid argon, or uh, regular argon, is used for a bunch of different things, like making midnight lamps, for example. YAG compound, or neodymium, which is helpful. Lithorite. I'm definitely using this setup. Uh, you can also use it to craft gas tiers, nether stars, lazurite gems, which are helpful for um, lapatron crystals. Because these are used in... Well, a lot of stuff. But anyway, so this will fill up, obviously, and then it'll start to fill up here. So, um, yeah. And then it'll void from this slot, so we don't have to worry about voiding it. This will just keep it a little buffer. Um, that reminds me, I may as well upgrade this. All right, that already is basic. Can I, I think I needed a circuit for that. So I could speed this up, but there's really no reason to. Um, because, well, this is not on a server right now, but it will be eventually. Um, and if we ever, well, if we ever need to, I'll just add speed upgrades and that'll be that. Okay, there we go. We've got these basic resources automated. Um, and that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and have a good one.